Got another question on the enthalpy and entropy topic. This one focuses on enthalpy. So if you want to try it first, the link to the question is in the description of the video. Okay, so for part A, we've got to put the right letter in the boxes. So I'll just talk through all of the processes. Some of them uh, don't have letters associated with them, but it's worth mentioning anyway. So enthalpy change of formation here, elements to the solid lattice. So that was process D. Solid magnesium to gaseous magnesium. So that's the atomization of magnesium, process E. We've got chlorine gas going to two moles of chlorine gas atoms. That's the atomization of chlorine, but we're going to need to double that in the calculation because we've got two moles of gaseous atoms produced. First ionization energy of magnesium, process B. Second ionization energy of magnesium, process F. We've got the electron affinity of chlorine here, but again, we're going to need to double this in the calculation because we've got two moles of chlorine in the cycle. And then the last one here, that's the lattice end that we gaseous ions to solid lattice. So that was process G. So before I go on to the calculation, just explain this again. So we've got two routes going from elements to solid lattice. We've got the simple route, the enthalpy change of formation, which I've coloured in pink there. And then we've got the complicated route going through all these steps. But again, it's starting at the element and it's finishing at the lattice. And Hess's law says that the sum of the enthalpy changes in each root equal each other. So there's all the numbers in there. Just a quick reminder that we had to double that one. That's the atomization of chlorine. And that's the electron affinity of chlorine. So again, that one needed doubling. So if we work out what's in the bracket and then take it over to the other side, flip it sign, that'll give us the lattice enthalpy which comes out at minus 2506 kilojoules per mole. So final part, we've got to explain why magnesium chloride's got stronger ionic bonds than sodium chloride. It's all down to the ionic charge and the ionic radius. So magnesium 2 plus has got a greater charge and a smaller ionic radius than the Na plus ion. So therefore the attraction between the oppositely charged ions in magnesium chloride is going to be greater than in sodium chloride. And obviously that's going to give it stronger ionic bonds.